soul. I will create a world of suffering and pain. Okay, first things first. It's not the gayest movie in the MCU. Don't get me wrong, there are references to the lifestyle, but it's not full-on LGBTQ propaganda. That title still belongs to the Eternals, where you had two married men making out. But like I said, there are references. Valkyrie is clearly a lesbian, but she's not in a relationship. You don't see her express any type of affection towards a woman other than her kissing the hand of a sexy goddess. Then there's Korg, the rock alien. He tells a story about how rock aliens are born, and basically it happens between two males of the species. They hold hands at a lava pit and pull a lava baby out of molten rock. Then boom, another rock alien is born. But that's about it. It's more than what I'd expose my kids to if I were a parent, but it's not the full-on gay messaging that has now become commonplace in Disney films that the press releases and previews would lead you to believe. And as a quick side note, it's a shame that it's come to that. You can't just go to a family movie and enjoy them anymore. You now have to break out your magnifying glasses and fine-tooth combs and scour over every scene looking for the gay stuff. You always have to be on lookout for the agenda. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, as for the movie itself, it's nothing special. It's definitely the best movie of Phase 4. But that isn't saying much because Phase 4 movies have been awful. And as far as the Thor franchise goes, it's the second best of the four. But again, that isn't saying much either because the previous two sequels were also terrible. But I was mildly entertained by the film. I think Chris Hemsworth was excellent as Thor, as always. He's funny and a natural fit for the character. There are a lot of jokes in this movie and I laughed at a few of them. I probably would have enjoyed more of them if it wasn't for the cackling idiots behind me. You'd have thought Dave Chappelle was on stage, the way they laughed at everything. Even the stuff that wasn't funny. That's one of the reasons why I hate going to see movies in the theaters. Anyway, I digress. The action sequences were solid, which is a given for Marvel movies. There are some excellent visuals towards the end, and I was pleasantly surprised by Natalie Portman's character as Jane Foster. I was apprehensive when I heard the news that she inherits the power of Thor, but I was pleasantly surprised at the writing of her character and the way she executed the role. After seeing Captain Marvel, I thought it would be another episode of feminist rage porn, but to my surprise, she was still charming, feminine, and vulnerable. She was the same Jane Foster she's always been. They didn't strip her of her femininity. I liked her as she Thor. I thought her character had a nice story arc as well. There is a throwaway line towards the end where she's fighting against the lead antagonist when she whips out her metaphorical penis. But other than that, she was very likable. And kudos to the special effects department. Jane Foster, when she becomes she Thor, has a Captain America-like transformation. She goes from a dainty, petite woman to an athletic specimen. I don't know if it was CGI or prosthetics, but it looked very realistic. I couldn't tell which body was actually Portman's. The buff, she Thor, or the petite Jane Foster. The soundtrack was amazing, a lot of 80s hair rock, which I thought fit the tone of the film nicely. There are also a lot of A-list actors making cameos in small, unrecognizable roles. Russell Crowe in particular as Zeus was absolutely hysterical. There are two post credit scenes. One reveals a new character, so you might want to stick around to see that. The second is a spoiler, so I won't mention what happens there. But overall, I didn't hate the movie. I wasn't bored with it either. But I wouldn't say it was great or even good. The problem is, I've seen every MCU movie and TV show since it started. And the shtick is wearing thin. I know I sound like a broken record because I've mentioned it a thousand times, but the MCU has got to grow up. Their movies need to evolve for a more sophisticated audience. They've been making the same crap for 15 years now, and it's getting boring. If this movie had come out 7 or 10 years ago, I would have said it was awesome, but now it feels like your standard MCU summer blockbuster. I give it a 6 out of 10. It was just okay, not something I'd watch again. A good time if you're bored or in the mood for something mindless. Anyway, uh, give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, 
and turn on that notification bell so that you'll get alerts every time I put up new content. This is The Layman's Journal. Thanks for coming by. I'm out.